G'day guys, Michael here with another quick tutorial on how to connect CleanFlight to output telemetry. So in this case we'll be using a Tyrannus to receive the telemetry, a D4R-2 receiver to pass the telemetry and an ACE32 board to interpret the telemetry for output. So let's get started. So the first thing we need to do is connect to the ACE32 board and we'll head over to the configuration tab. Under the configuration tab we need to turn on receiver PPM because we need to send the telemetry information inbound with all the channel information and we'll turn on telemetry and soft serial. So the advantage of using soft serial over the FRSky pin outputs which reside next to the buzzer and battery inputs on the NAS32 board is that the soft serial is always on so we don't need to have a quad that's armed to be able to pass telemetry information. Telemetry information is always passed whilst there is a connection between the receiver and the transmitter. So we'll save and reboot and then we'll head over to the ports configuration tab. So now that we've enabled soft serial we see two soft serial ports, soft serial 1 and 2. It's a matter of going over to the telemetry tab, selecting FR Sky and saving and rebooting. That's all we need to do from a minimum configuration to enable soft serial telemetry. Of course, the soft serial information for soft serial 1 is outputted on pin 6 of your NAS32 board. So it's a matter of connecting pin 6 of your NAS32 board to the receive pin on the FR Sky D4R 2. Now, if output of telemetry isn't shown, then we probably have an issue with the inversion that is required from the to convert the FR Sky telemetry proprietary telemetry information over to one that's understood. Now, NAS32 boards have this inversion uh, built into the hardware, but if you've got a board that hasn't got this hardware inversion, there's an easy software fix and it's a matter of just under the CLI typing in a command set telemetry underscore inversion equal to on. Don't forget to do a save and you should now have telemetry working to your Tyrannus. So from a configuration perspective, we can see here my uh, test setup. I have um, the battery input coming into a distribution board and I feed that into the NAS32 into the battery input with the positive at the top. I have the ESC really just providing 5 volts power to power the NAS32 and the D4R itself uh, and that's also hooked up via the normal PPM channel across this link here. So that's the old uh, negative, positive and signal wire for it. And underneath that is our pin number 6 connection for the soft serial port uh, which traverses this single wire orange and is then converted to the green into the receive port into the D4R. So let's have a look at those components a little bit more closely. We see on the D4R the green wire is really just the receive pin on the unit itself. Uh, the black wire isn't used at all. Uh, some wiring suggests that uh, you need a negative, that isn't the case. And on the underside of the NAS32 board we see that pin 6 is connected via a jumper and I have an orange connector put into that jumper for the connection to the soft serial port. So that's all we really need to get telemetry to work from soft serial to the FR Sky and back to your Tyrannus. So I hope you found this tutorial useful. Uh, there's many other tutorials that are on my channel, so if you haven't subscribed to it already, please do so. Uh, you'll find that it's quite useful and I'm always updating new tutorials. And have a nice day and thanks for watching. Cheers.